Wolverine, need I say more? Let's start the show. MJZ Comics here, and we are going to go over some Wolverine books, specifically our favorite Wolverine books. There's hundreds of key Wolverine comic books. I don't want to get an argument with people and what's the best Wolverine. What I'm going to say is these are MJZ's favorite Wolverine books. I mean, we could argue all night over what are the best Wolverine comic books. We're we just will go over what we like. We will tell you what the money book is. There's some confusion out there as far as first appearances and nonsense. We'll tell you what what's the one book you really want. And we all know what that is. Come on. Hulk 180. Kidding. <laughs> 181, baby. Hulk 181. Let's start the show. All right. The first book, obviously, Hulk 181. The first full appearance of Wolverine. This is the money book. This is the one you want to get. I don't care what anyone says, blah, 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 blah. Now, Hulk 180, the book before this, that's considered his first cameo appearance, even though there's a full shot of him in costume on the last page. That doesn't matter. That's been going on forever. If you're deb debating between both books, this is the one you want to get. The better cover, yep. the money book. Uh, to me, if you already have this book and you're a big Wolverine fan and you're a completist, buy Hulk 180. He's not on the cover. It's only the Hulk. It's a yellow cover. Small picture of him on the last page, right? I mean, this is it. He's on the cover. It's an orange cover. Incredible Hulks fighting him. This is the book you want. Don't listen to anybody else that's telling you 180 is the first. I don't care what the technical term is. <laughs> this is the book you want. This is the one you're going to make money off of. Hulk 181. Read my lips. 181. Eight one. And I don't care if they change the first appearance. This is still going to be the book that's going to cost more. They could change the whole thing. That's not going to matter. The market dictates it. This is the book. Again, 180 is a great book. I'm not arguing that, but it's not. It's not the one you want if you're going to buy one expensive Wolverine comic book. It's this one. And just to clarify again, 180 is the first cameo appearance, and 181 is the first full appearance as of the making of this video. That could change. And then if you want to do the trilogy, you collect Hulk 180, first cameo, Hulk 181, right here, the big boy. And then 182 is considered what? The second, second cameo? Second cameo appearance. So yeah. a lot of people, it's a great uh, display if you have Hulk 180, 181, and 182 all in a line. Oh, yeah. Really cool. Next book we're going to bring up is X-Men 103. And we'll put a cover up on the screen. This is the first time that Wolverine's name is revealed to be Logan. So kind of cool information. Uncanny X-Men 103. The first time that it's revealed that Wolverine's name is Logan. And of course, one of the books we have to bring up is Wolverine's arch enemy, Sabretooth, who appears. We do have copies of this book. I don't have them here in studio, but this is Iron Fist number 14. Awesome cover because it's the Iron Fist, which you usually don't associate Sabretooth with. Like, you know what I mean? If if Sabretooth wasn't, if his first appearance wasn't in the Iron Fist comic book, I probably wouldn't even know that they battled each other. But anyway, it's a beautiful cover. Iron Fist battling Sabretooth. Iron Fist 14. That's, you know, if you're going to bring up Wolverine's arch enemies, Sabretooth has got to be number one. And then Omega Red. And if we're going to bring up Omega Red, let's pull out his first appearance as a key Wolverine book. And this is, of course, X-Men number four. And this copy we have here is autographed by the great Jim Lee. Did some awesome X-Men comics. Great cover. You see the, the newer picture of the X-Men with Omega Red's tentacles wrapped around Wolverine and the rest of them. Awesome book. A must-have for any X-Men or Wolverine fan. First appearance of Omega Red. It's probably one of the better modern X-Men first appearance covers too. So still affordable. So you have a chance, yep. bag this one. Yep. Next book we have is Giant Size X-Men number one. Now this is kind of one of those books that's in the arguments of which appearance, blah, blah, blah. Now this is considered Wolverine's second full appearance. He's on the cover too, which is great. From our research, this is the first time in comics that the, I guess, what do you call it? Snicked noise from his claws is actually introduced in this book. 
Yeah. So another kind of cool little thing about it. Monster book. If you have money to invest and you're looking to invest in a book, this is one of the safest. This is like the Apple stock of comic books. Giant size X-Men. Multiple, multiple appearances, first appearances, and the bonus is it's Wolverine's second full appearance. Next book is Uncanny X-Men 133, and this is considered Wolverine's first solo cover. A lot, if you're wondering where we're getting some of this information from, some of it we just know because we're comic book fans, and then some of it you can find on the Key Collector app. When you search under Wolverine, if you're a huge Wolverine fan and you want to find all of his key books, use the Key Collector app, check it out, punch in Wolverine, and you'll see all these books that we're talking about. The next book we have here is one of my favorites. This was probably the first comic book I remember going to the comic book store, and I had to have this thing. It's Wolverine 1 from 1988, and this is the first appearance of Wolverine as Patch. The black costume Wolverine. It's actually the premiere issue of the Wolverine ongoing series. Awesome book from the late 80s. One of my favorite covers, like I said, from my childhood. It's the book I went to the comic store. I think I paid $25 at the time. Uh, I still have that original copy in my collection. This one I purchased later in the 9.8. Another um, kind of key book with this that I like a lot, and I didn't bring this one with us to the studio, but we have copies of this book too. And that is the Frank Miller Wolverine 1, which is the first solo title. It's that infamous cover with Wolverine on it, up front and center. And it's the, also, it comes with a bonus. It's the first appearance of Yokio. That is a huge Wolverine book. The problem with that book and the Wolverine 1 that I just showed you, it was mass produced. And I think that keeps the value down at times. Yeah, I mean, it was a limited series run. I think it was four issues, right? Yeah. And Everybody and their brother was buying it. If I had the choice, I would pick the Wolverine one from nineteen eighty eight from his long ongoing series because it's kind of it's got a first appearance, a key part of it. So I think that has better long term potential than the limited series. Yeah, it's a key appearance of Wolverine as Patch mm -hmm. in Wolverine one. It's a little bit newer book, but I think you know they were both mass produced. I do. I like. I agree with yeah. Matt. I like the Wolverine one from nineteen eighty eight, the premiere issue of the ongoing series over the Wolverine first solo title. Not saying I don't like the Wolverine the first solo title, but if I'm picking one of the two, I like the Wolverine one from 1988. In a perfect world, you just bag both, but you know, the way yeah. things are, if you're a beginner collector or you're not looking to spend too much money, I would favor the number one from 1988, the first patch. I like that better. Yep. How about we need, do need to mention Marvel Comics presents 72. This is the origin of Weapon X. Everybody knows that cover. Origin of Weapon X, Marvel Comics Presents, number 72. And then one that we own that's actually one of my favorite Wolverine covers. I like the colors on this. It's from 1994. Along the line of that Wolverine one we just showed and we're talking about. This is Wolverine 88. And this picked up popularity... Um, I want to say like last year when they started showing the Deadpool previews where Wolverine and Deadpool were kind of joking on the couch together. This copy right here is known as the first time that Deadpool and Wolverine fight. And you can actually see Deadpool is holding Wolverine over him. Cool colors of the black, red, and the blue. This is one of the cooler covers. One of the key issues in the Wolverine uh, current run. I'm sure we've forgotten some Wolverine books. I mean, there's hundreds of comics let us With, know in the comments. Yeah, hundreds we, of Wolverine key books. This is just MJZ Comics' favorite ones. If you're asking us what we have in our collection, we pretty much mentioned them. There's other books. I mean, I like Kitty Pride first appearance because she goes along with Wolverine. Like I said, we could go on all night talking Wolverine. Let us know in the comments what your favorite Wolverine books are. MJZ out.